we're live. Can you see me? I can see you. No. Take three. No, you're not in it now. You gotta come in. I can see you now when you're in front of the thing. Okay. So, oh, just so right. you know. I don't have to stand. Hello, hello. Um, take three. Okay. We've been trying, trying, trying to get this up. So, we're here today to talk to you about War Market. When, we, when we're in the group, we talk a lot about War Market, adding to your War Market and, and stuff like that. So, so this way we're on the, all on the same page. We want you to have a clear understanding of what we mean by your War Market. Um, my opinion, your War Market is your Facebook, is your Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, all your social media just in general. Um, and 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 all that stuff is technically your storefront as well um, so make sure that you're aware of that as you're posting and and things like that um, on your social media and, and 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 protecting your war market is your biggest thing that you can do if you're utilizing your war market for your business okay um, and to give you kind of just a quick analogy of that is, is, is since the, since the vote just happened, um, you know, if I'm, if I decide to be a Democrat in my war market, I probably have Democrats and Republicans all on my, all on my social media, which me being a Democrat is fine. But until I take a stand and saying I'm a Democrat and everything a Democrat believes is what's right and, and everything a Republican, Republican believes is wrong. Guess who I lose out of my war market, right? Um, same thing with just negative posts. You want your you want your war market and your social media to be following you because of a reason, and the reason can be just as simple as is you're just so so positive every day. Um, so it, it's just super important, important, important to protect your war market. Not getting political. Um, not obviously no racism things going on. Um, you know, foul language, stuff like that. I mean, it's just, it, it can portray you as a business owner in a good or a bad light. And I choose for my social media to try and be as positive as possible. And if I don't have anything nice to say, I just don't say anything at all. Um, it's any two sides. If you can pick two sides, you're gonna lose people if you are adamant about one side. Yeah. Anything that's yeah. controversial, period. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so going forward, be aware of that as far as your war market goes. But you know, you have your war market, you want it warm and friendly, picture yourself in a mall and you're walking and, 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 and there's just a bunch of home-based businesses in the mall. Um, you know, if you've got people in there arguing and fighting, are you gonna want to go into that store? Probably not. Um, or complaining, or if you see a bunch of people complaining, you know, you're not, you're not going to want to go in that store. So you want to make your storefront, storefront warm, inviting, um, family friendly, you know, because we do have real lives too. Uh, but like I said, you know, just be really, really careful with your social media, with your warm market, with your storefront. Because the whole objective is, is if you're using that for your business is to grow it, right? Um, so your warm market is what's going to give you your orders. They're either going to be customer orders or they're going to be promoter orders. <laughs> and, and, and if you just are sticking with your current, you know, your current warm market and you're not doing anything to enhance that, um, you're, you're not going to, if you're not doing it, you're not going to teach it. So your warm market, your current warm market is only going to get you so far. And if you're not teaching your customers or promoters, to grow their war market, eventually what will happen is, is that will maximize and that will be it. Um, so, so the sooner you guys get into learning how to grow your, your war market, the better off you will be. You will have um, a never ending business, right? If you uh, have 500 friends on your Facebook page and that's all you've got and that's all you're working with, you're going to run out of this real quick, Yeah. real quick. Yeah, so, 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 so definitely, um, and we're gonna teach you in the, within the group and, and, and how to add to this. 
Um, we do a little thing where we challenge you to kind of add five friends a day or, or five friends whenever um, a week it can be. That's fine. Um, so that way you're not going into Facebook jail. But How are you getting these friends? Yeah, that's the key. Um, the key is, is not to add five other thrivers. No. Right? Uh, because that's not gonna, that's not gonna, we're trying to get you here. Right? The whole purpose is, is to create new potential, either a future customer or a future promoter. promoter. And by the same token, on the flip side of that, just because you add somebody today from one of these things, doesn't mean you go after the sale and private message them tomorrow. Right? All this stuff that we're doing over here is going to be for next month and the month after that or potentially six months down the road. Um, they say most of the time 90 days is where you're going to, you're going to work today for 90 days from now. For the people that you're adding today. So mm -hmm. the sooner you get to, to adding people to your warm market, the sooner this process starts um, in order to achieve this. So if you're learning it and you're doing it, now you can teach your team to do that, right? So you have four promoters and everybody collectively had 2,000 people. Well, that 2,000 people are gonna only go and get you so far in dealing with, we're dealing with ranks and sales ranks, it's only gonna get you potentially to 40K, okay? So now, how do we go from 40K to 80K? The only way we can do that is, is by adding. And if you're adding 500 friends, and these guys are all adding 500 friends, now we have a pool of 4,000 people to be getting you from 40K to 80K, right? So that's why it's so important to start this 90-day process um, to see what it gets you. So, you know, here's some ideas on, you know, things that I've done in the past to add to my warm market is, is definitely doing events. Um, the easiest thing you can do even if you're just going shopping or going to the grocery store or doing events and if you get stuck where you don't have a business card, um, the easiest thing to do is to say, hey, uh, do me a favor, send me a friend request on Facebook or I'll shoot you a friend request on Facebook and let's connect that way. Um, because you may be going in and out of a store, you may be time crunched, you may be running late for work. Uh, it, it, it's so something simple to do because of the power of social media. If you do that, this is my big key thing. You need to add them and then screenshot them because if you're in any of these places up here and you add two or three people, you're not gonna remember who this was unless you screenshot it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also, there, you know, there, there, there's some groups. There's groups on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. um, so figure out what you love and, and search that. You definitely take advantage of your social media. There are so many tools to be able to access into people, right? It doesn't mean join a group and spam the group with your links and, and, and buy the world. It is to create that relationship. Remember guys, we're in relationship marketing and it's building relationships with people or, or what's gonna sustain um, your business as well. So, you know, for example, like, I love football. So I look for football groups and I look for people that, that kind of are uh, relatable to me. You know, of course I'm a Buckeye fan and I'm not gonna go send a friend request to Michigan fans. I'm gonna send a friend request to other Buckeye fans. But look, he's excited about this, right? Because that's what he loves. That's what you have to do. You can't go, you hate cats and you go get in the cat group. You're never gonna post anything on your Facebook about cats. Right. But you love dogs you love a specific dog, um, let's say it's Dalmatians, you go in and get in the Dalmatian group, guess what, you have Dalmatians, you're posting pictures of Dalmatians. That's when you can connect with people in those groups. And when you add them, you no longer look like a spammer because they've got Dalmatians, you've got Dalmatians, now you both love the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're gonna see your Dalmatians posts, now they're going to see your Thrive posts that are only in there as commercials. Right. The rest of your life is the whole story. That's on your Facebook. Um, so you know, there's, some, there's tons and tons and tons of ideas as far as groups, and, and, and it can be anything. It can be knitting. It can be cars. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of guys with cars, and, and, and cars are their things. And it's just about bridging that gap to open up a line of communication 
to invite somebody into your world and, and your world has has your business in it and there's nothing wrong with that where, where I think where I believe the fine line of social media and business is is when the, these people have no I clue no clue who you are how they met you and you're shooting them a message um, check out check out my products buy from me buy from me. remember sharing this is you're just sharing your ideas you're just sharing your life you're just sharing what you love about our product or or the fact that that you know me being in this business has helped Jolene change her life right come from that place quit coming from a, um, a, a orders type of place it will get you the orders but it has to be when they want it not when you want it if you're gonna go for friends of friends, I please, please, please do not friend other drivers' friends. Yes. That's a huge one. Yes. Because that's just not nice. Uh, uh, it's uh, you know if if this is your business, remember it needs we need to have some business et etiquette and mm -hmm. ethics, um, and and this is the type of stuff that gives multi-level marketing a bad name. Um, Jolene is in a different company, and. I really don't know Jolene. I'm just an associate of her on, on, on Facebook. I get a hold of her friends list and they start sending my link, my Lavelle link, my Lavelle link to all her friends. It's just tacky. Mm -hmm. it's, what, it's what ruins the industry. So please do your job, you know. I mean, I look at my job as, as A, protecting the industry, B, protecting my brand, C, protecting my team, and then D, protecting myself. Um, come from that aspect and, and think about the bigger picture instead of just the individual sale. <coughs> so Events. This also is another place you can go do um, events, you know, go sit up a table and talk to people, but you're still, the biggest thing is, is adding them to your warm market. It's not sell, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Adding them to your warm market works out way better than talking to 100 people and getting one order when you could have added those 100 people to your warm market to talk to later on. Later on, next month, two months, six months, a year later. I mean, there, there are those people that will wait and watch. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's what I love about events. I love going and because we're, I mean, it's just networking in general, right? Um, we've been doing it for free for so long and now we had the ability to get, to, to gain financially from doing the same thing we've been doing, which is, hey, um, I, I need my hair done. Do mm -hmm. you know anybody? You know, because why? Because I trust Jolene. I trust, I love the way her hair looks all the time. She might know a good haircut person. Um, so I'm gonna take that, take that, right? Mm -hmm. Or she might ask me, do I have a good car guy? Uh, you know anybody that does oil changes? You know, something that's relatable, but it's still network marketing and, and, and for your whole lives you've been doing this and, and I didn't, you know, she didn't get any money from sending me to her hair person. I didn't get any money to send her to, you know, the 30 minute oil change place. Now we have the ability to do it. So let's make sure that we do it right, do it ethically. And, and, and I promise you, if you just create this good business income producing activity, you see IPA, that's what that means, income producing activity. It will gain you, you're working for your future here, mm -hmm. right? You're working for your next 60 days or your next 90 days um, to have those potentials. Remember, if you stick with that 500, eventually they'll run out and, and your business will just flatline. Um, also, if you've created a team within that 500 and you're not doing it, so you're not teaching it, um, eventually theirs will too. So a lot of people that, that say I'm stuck, um, come back to this and think about if you're doing this. I'm not saying you're doing it or you're not doing it, but if you're not doing this, remember what I said, that 500 is, is gonna only get you so far. So how to protect that in 90 days, start now. Um, th there's tons and tons of things to be able to add to your, I could go on and on and on. Small list. But most of it is just being aware um, you know, you're out and about, you're wearing this, you got, you're running late for work. Hey, do me a favor. I'd love to be able to talk to you about this, but right now I'm just pressed for time. Um, do me, who are you on Facebook? Easy thing to do. I just sent you a friend request. I'll get with you a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Um, catch those contacts. Always have your phone on you. Catch those contacts. Same at, at events. That's all I'll do is, Hey, I'd love to network with you. What's your name? What's your, you know, who are you on Facebook? 
people will give that up all day long because people why because other people want friends too mm -hmm. you know um, so remember set this pattern up of doing this and, and you will go far and you will have a never-ending business um, because in 90 days you're gonna be talking to if you add about 500 new people in 90 days you'll be talking to about 500 new people um, also keep in mind keeping your keeping your war market or your Facebook or your social media protected um, so that way you're not losing you know you're not losing followers we're trying to add we're not trying to lose um, and that will eventually create new orders and new possibilities and new potential um, for you and 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 I'm a big fan of just getting out and meeting people because we've got the ability to go meet somebody today shake their hand look them in the eye they like what they're picking up what we're putting down and that person change your business and change your life for the rest of your life so so don't ignore that either as we deal with the social media world <coughs> Anything else you got to add? Oh, go ahead. Do me a favor and just explain the customers that you've gotten lately um, by just adding them to what you're doing. Met a lady in Walmart. We were both in one section that was like gluten-free or healthy section or something. And we got talking about my daughter. And um, I added her on Facebook because she's seen this. But that wasn't what we started talking about. She did ask about it. But that wasn't it. I added her on Facebook and got her from Walmart. Car shopping, we're out um, shopping for a new car. We didn't go in the intention of buying one. Yes, we did. But that's not what we went for. We added people on Facebook. We got people. We got happy packs. We got stuff out of that. Hair salon. We got a brand new promoter in here. Um, because I wasn't going to go to the same hair salon that everybody else that are my friends that are here. Because I was like, oh, they've already talked to people about that. I'm going to take a chance. I put up a post on Facebook. Somebody got me in connection with somebody and that's got me somebody there. Guys, the pool. Mike started talking to a guy at the pool and him and his girlfriend were very interested and they became a promoter. So it's everywhere, but you have to get out and do this or you're just gonna have this. And can you do it on just this? Of course you can. Okay. But if you add these two together, these numbers in the end are gonna be way bigger. You're gonna run out of those 500 people. It, it, it just and it depends on what you want out of this, you know. I mean, I'm, my, these off. I'm hoping that what you want out of this is, is financial freedom in, in the long run, is to be a, a 40k, 80k, 200k, um, to create potential and possibility for uh, you know not only yourself but your children and your children's children, um, because it can happen. So can I tell you to also. Don't walk around the store like this or with your one hand on the cart looking down or if you're at the park you're just sitting on a bench looking like this get this out of your hand until you need it to add to somebody somebody to your facebook page because otherwise you're never going to connect to eyes and you're never going to start a conversation yes so we hope this was a little was informative and now when we say warm market and adding to you all have an idea on what we are talking about so this if you hear cold market these would have been your cold market that you're going to turn into your warm market. Yes, which hopefully will transition into orders. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.